So I have in front of me, You'd Be Surprised, which is a collection of short stories and poems written by Josh Nealis of Cutthroat Comics and Publishing. Fading Sands. They say as you get older, your imagination fades and life makes you jaded. I'm here to tell you that concept is not true. My imagination ran wild. It carried me, along with my hopes and dreams, through periods of discourse that I believed, wholeheartedly, were nothing but normal problems. Normal problems that every person deals with. Problems that were overlooked for the sake of love and honor. Problems that with time and attention would themselves fade, heal, and disappear. My imagination had never faded until now. Reality is cold, unmerciful, and unrelenting. It cares not for anyone. It cares only for itself. All that stands before it are left in ruin, left to die, left behind in a wake of lies, selfishness, complete and total annihilation. If you manage to survive, you may become stronger. You also may never be the person you once were, the person you desired and aspired to be. That person is gone. That person was good. That person was a champion. That person had imagination. The problems of the world have faded away. Forgotten and abandoned, the only problems that one now faces are front and center. These problems will not go away. They will not relinquish their grip, a grip that even in a happy moment can choke and smother its prey. Can the grip be broken? Can it be spread and destroyed? Beaten and buried in the sand? Perhaps. But now I lie awake, with eyes shut. All that floods in are thoughts of betrayal, thoughts of deceit, a flood of truth, followed by a drought on empty emotions. I drown and suffer. My imagination is gone, lost at sea, lost to the tides, and lost in a vortex. Only retrievable by the mercy that reality does not possess, undone by time, healed by strength. As we move forward, reality becomes more difficult, unforgiving and unregretful, arrogant and unapologetic. Reality has no imagination. It never did. It never knew. It never cared what it would be like to imagine endless possibilities with unlimited outcomes. When the tides recede, all that is left is reality course like sand, filling every inch of the gaping hole once filled with imagination. Imagination is a disease. Reality is the cure. But perhaps, just maybe, it's the other way around.